Hi guys, so today we will discuss about very fundamental topic immutable string concept in Java. So we know like the Java strings are immutable. So, so immutable means unchangeable. So whenever any uh, string object is created, its value cannot be changed. We do have heap memory in Java, right? And inside heap memory, we have the string pool basically. Let's now see all these code examples and see how the string objects will get created so let's begin with first example string s1 is equal to hello so what it will do basically it will create your hello string object in the string pool because the string pool is empty now so we are just starting our program so both our string pool and heap memory are empty so this line will create the string object hello in the string pool so s1 will refer to this object which is there in the string pool so th this is how it will look so second example i am using the concat keyword so here you have to remember like whenever we use concat keyword it will not create your object in the string pool instead it will create your object in the heap memory directly so here it will create hello world so that is the concatenated uh, string and then <clears throat> this s2 will basically refer to the object which is there in the heap memory so this is how it will look and the third example which is very important here we are using the concat uh, keyword and we are also using the intern function basically so here you have to remember one thing that the function intern right what it do is it will scan your objects in the string pool and see if the and see if the object exists in the string pool or not if it exists then it will refer your string to that object so in this case if you will see s1.concat hello world so it will try to search hello world in this string pool so as of now it doesn't exist so it will create a new object here of hello world inside the string pool okay so this is how it looks so if i do here right so this is it uh, look so s3 will also point to the object hello world inside string pool <clears throat> so but but in turn we have to be really careful to use in turn because it can give you performance issues so the next one is string s4 is equal to hello world so so this example is just basic so we are creating the new string s4 and the value is hello world so what it will do it will search for hello world in the string pool if it exists it will refer it will refer this s4 to that object so it already exists so this is how it, it will this is how it will look basically so hello world will also point to the object which is already in the string pool now the fifth example so here we are using the new keyword so new keyword and concat works in the same way so whenever you use new keyword so it also doesn't create your object in the string pool instead it will create your object in the heap memory and if you see in the heap memory we already have one hello world but it will not refer to this because we are specifically saying that i want new object right new is the keyword so what it will do basically it will create hello world and this s1 will point to this so so let's see the code examples in intellij so i have this string immutable string is equal to hello so if you see here if i'm trying to do concat here so let's say hello world so if you see here this line will give me the warning like the result of this method is ignored basically so as we know strings are immutable so this line doesn't make any sense because it will not do anything because here we are trying to change the value of this the string object so but what we can do if i create the new string right so basically s2 so if i say immutable string dot concat then it will work so the first line as we saw like it will create your object in the string pool and the concat method will create in the heap memory right and then if i say string s3 here but now i will use dot intern method right 
so now it will create the new object hello world because hello world doesn't exist yet in string pool so it will create in the string pool so <clears throat> if you if i do s out s2 is equal to s3 just to check so it should become it should be false basically because s2 exists in heap memory and s3 exists in uh, string pool okay and if i use the new keyword here so i will say new string and then i i give hello world again right so it will create again new one he in heap memory it will not point to s2 so if i say s4 is equal to s2 then it should give again false because both are hello world objects but we are using the new and both are there in the heap memory so we use the new keyword so that's why so these are the basic examples uh, and then if i will give a uh, string s5 is equal to hello world right so now we know when we used this method in turn the hello world object will be there in string pool so if i do this so if i say let's see if s5 is equal to s3 so ideally it should be true so it will give the true right because in turn method also created in string pool and in this case it will find if this object exists in string pool then it will refer me to the same object so these are the basic concept of uh, immutable uh, immutable string so